What is up, people? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Adriel. Today, we're going to be covering my recent acquisitions. As per usual, these items have been acquired within the past six months or so, ever since like my latest um, recent pickups video, which was like a long time ago. Some of these pieces have been in my wardrobe for a while, but um, since you guys are approaching the spring and summer season, I thought I'd show you guys some of my essentials as well, which I've been really enjoying. So we're gonna break it down to categories. So we're gonna do accessories, jackets, tops, bottoms, footwear. So yeah, let's get straight into it. We'll start with a heavy hitter. It's this Balenciaga Distressed Sun Faded Pack. If you guys follow me on social media, small degree, um, you would have seen me rock this cap a lot. Even my vlogs and whatnot, I've been rocking this hat nonstop. The reason why I really like this cap is because it's number one, it's distressed and sun faded. Obviously, it's such a nice looking cap. But my favorite part about this cap is how it has a low profile, which really hides your face whenever you're wearing it. So it sort of protects your face and whatnot. And what I really like as well is it has this notches on the side, which for me, as a glasses wearer, this is really convenient and such a nice accessory slash like feature to have. Like not a lot of hats go hand in hand with wearing the glasses. So I love this so much. I bought these for a good, really good deal. I know these are reselling for like upwards of like, like 600 USD or something. And I literally didn't pay anything close to that. What I really like as well is it has this really nice clasp, which is just perfect. It's super subtle. If you don't know it's Balenciaga, you would never know. And it really does elevate every outfit that I wear. So, but yeah, moving on to the next hat is this Jacob Hedzer dart cap. I know that he recently released a new hat with X Slim, I think, which is super fire, but I don't, I'm sort of over my hat face. Someone actually called me a chronic hat wear which is insane <laughs> it's so super funny i love that but yeah this is for one of those like workout type hats whenever i'm just out for grocery runs or whatever this is definitely super lightweight in comparison with the balenciaga one i had those are super heavy duty and like sort of more dressed up but this is super subtle if i'm trying to wear something all black if i'm trying to wear something a bit more toned down i'll probably wear something like this what i like is the ventilation up top um, and the paneling of the hat itself, I think it's just, this, this, there's a lot of panels in this hat. So it really does make a unique shape. Basically your elevated running cap that could really fit into those formal vintage type fits. So that's the second one. For the third one, if you guys watch my vlogs, you would know, try it on this boucle beanie from Muji. Um, obviously the most common type of beanies are those knitted ones, but I really prefer this one. It's more elevated. I give it a big fold and so whenever I wear it, it's super nice and fits nice on the head. So it's perfect. I'll wear with some bomber, some t-shirts and whatnot. But yeah, I think it's $15. Highly recommend you guys getting these. Moving on to the only bag I have is this Hienso. Not sure what it's called. It's called a Hienso side bag. It's made out of, I think, polyamide or nylon, something like that. And it has this DNA type cord thing as your strap, which you could adjust according to the length. And um, it comes with this keychain as well, which I think was a part of the nautical season, which was their previous season. I wouldn't actually wore it much, but I feel like this bag would be perfect for traveling just to carry your essentials like gum, contact lenses, eye drops, whatever it is. The thing that I like about this bag is because I have a smaller stature, um, whenever I wear tighter fitting tees, if I wear something super big, it just looks dis disproportionate. But then with something like this, even if I wear an oversized tee or if I wear something like a tighter fitting tee, it really does look good and proportionate. So yeah. Finally, for the accessories, is this product called Card Holder. I actually bought these for Sinta as a birthday gift around three, four years ago, but then we both sort of swapped wallets 
because she wanted a larger wallet and I wanted like a smaller card holder. This really does make my life heaps easier, super organized and it's super nice. Has whatever you need, basically more than enough. It features this Prada logo, which I really like and enjoy because I think this is from the 2018-19 season and I don't see them doing a lot of these logos anymore. It's holding up super well. Like I've had this for like five years and it's still looking pristine. But yeah, we're gonna be moving on to some tops. I have a bunch of tops this time around. Let's start with the heavy hitters with the jackets. So first up is this 1960s US Army military jacket. This is the perfect bomber, I feel. The way it fits, crop, boxy, super short, but then wide as hell, super perfect. It's distressed on the bottom, ribbings, distressed here as well. As you can see, it's pretty much all ripped up here, it, which looks perfect placed over a hoodie because it does really show the hood and whatnot, which is crazy. Really distressed, you can see like a lot of where gold went into this. Look at the sleeve distressing, distressing over here as well. Zipper super smooth. And then the inside is just this beautiful orange lining, which I will never wear the reversible side, but who knows. And then in the back, I love that dark thing detail, which I think is super common for MA1 jackets and bombers in general. You guys could probably find these in like eBay or like Railed. These are super hyped these days because I don't know who wore it, but like people are just crazy over bombers these days, which I'm as well. I actually have three bombers in this video. But yeah, that's, this will be something I wear in like whenever I go like to flea markets or like just markets in general, grabbing some coffee, very quick, very light, keeps you warm, but then super breathable as well, which is my preferred choice of material. Next stop for the jacket is my fucking favorite jacket at the moment. I got this two weeks ago and I haven't took it off since, legit. This is the spring summer 1993 Yoji Yamamoto bomber jacket, wool bomber jacket. This is reversible and both sides are really good. You know how like sometimes you have reversible jackets but then you can only wear one side? But this one is super good both ways. I'll start with this side. Look at the pocket detailing, man. Super elegant. You can literally wear this over like a shirt and a tie. It literally sits on my waist. It's super wide, very boxy. The ribbings are still in perfect condition. This literally looks brand new. So this is how it looks like in the reversible side. How beautiful is this jacket? It's nylon on the inside and wool on the outside. You can literally wear this for every occasion. I wear it with some like jeans, acne jeans, like wide leg even like slim, straight, whatever kind of jeans you want to wear. The proportion is so perfect. The pockets are different with this one, single wall pockets. Yoji Yamamoto Pour All, so it's the main collection, made in Japan. It's just perfect, like uniform type of beat, you know what I mean? Uniform top five, love that. Moving on to the next piece, the third bomber of this video, is this vintage 90s to 2000s cargo bomber. Really does remind me of a bit of Catherine Hamnet. Very similar like pocket detailing, how it sort of have the flaps, the buckles, this kind of flap and the brass um, zippers. So reminiscent with the back detailing as well with that opening. So, so sick. I've actually, I've actually purchased this around two years ago. I left it back home and then I had um, my sister bring it over and I was like, I actually like that jacket because before I never had any trousers or like shoes to wear with them. But that's the interesting thing about fashion. Like as you grow older, like as you experiment more, you sort of dive into more pieces or even come back to pieces that you had before and install them in a completely different way. This has like a really tight ribbing as well so you can fold it up, super cropped. These three have a very similar fit. I definitely like the Yoji vest. Um, it's just more tailored to the body, very close, but still super boxy. Moving on from the jackets, I have a couple sweaters, shirts, and t-shirts. So this is predominantly what I'm wearing for like spring, for like spring and summer. Um, I wear a lot of shirts, wear a lot of t-shirts, long sleeves, just like sort of sweaters as well. So this is the Object 22 mohair knit sweater. How beautiful is this sweater, bro? Probably my favorite sample today. 
We're very excited to release this in a fall winter season. This is the first sample, so there's gonna be a couple of changes, but visually speaking, it's pre it's around 85 to 90 percent. We're gonna tweak some um, some placements and whatever, but pretty much the idea remains the same. Cropped, elongated sleeves, mohair material, very soft, keeps you warm. But in summer and winter, it's breathable. So that's really what you want. Really tight collar, so it hugs the neck, fits beautiful. The dressings on the sleeve and the ribbing as well, insane. And we have this scar stitch detail, which we're gonna refine with better treads. But look at that, man, insane. I wear it over a shirt and a tie. I wear it over a t-shirt. I wear it under a jacket, under a coat, literally the perfect layering piece. But yeah, for this season, we're gonna be releasing some t-shirts, tanks, jeans, and whatnot, which we'll be teasing super soon. But yeah, this is gonna be called the Blood Clot Sweater. Next up, this is a 90s jersey plain crew neck. I've worn this maybe around 100, 200 times, no cap. Whenever I'm wearing a black crew neck, this is the only one I have. It's literally faded now. It used to be like jet black when I first got it, but it's like literally like like an ash gray charcoal type thing, which is the, what you want. So yeah, you want to look for this kind of jersey tag, this size large. Um, I have a lot of you guys asking me what blanks and sweatshirts that I wear. This is the only blank sweatshirt I wear. Look at the fade, man. Perfect. Moving on, it's some shirts. So since I work a corporate job now, I do need to dress up every once in a while. So this is the Acme Studios striped shirt. If you guys watched my previous vlog, you would know that this was previously super long, which I've cropped it to fit more like an overshirt. Previously it was like super large, like Balenciaga type-esque shirt, but then I've cropped it. And this has been like on daily rotation ever since. This is the epitome of a perfect shirt for me. Like a plain black or white shirt is way too formal. But something like this really does suit my vibe. I can wear a tank top under, I can wear a t-shirt, I can wear whatever under and still look fly. Um, yeah, my favorite detail about this is the way it fits, number one, very boxy. And then these vertical stripes are actually different sizes. So it's very unique and it looks super high end. It's very breathable to wear in the summer as well. So yeah, beautiful. Moving on to some tees, long sleeve and tanks. First up, oh, it's even sliding. The, is this trashed 90s bootleg Kurt Cobain tee, memorial tee? So faded. I mean, like, distressing's here, distressing's in the back. Crazy. This, has to, this is the only long sleeve I have, and this literally I've been worn every single time. Insane. Look at the graphic, man. How. How often do you see something like super cracked and beautifully faded with this? I think this used to be black as the tre threads are actually black, but seeing that this is actually like a bootleg, so I assume it wasn't made from the best dyer material. So it, it has, so it faded to this beautiful like blue color, which is so rare to see in um, t-shirts. This is what I want to be buying in terms of vintage, which is so hard and rare to find for some reason. Um, I realize these days we just literally use, like even if you buy Unico or something, like a lot of people just use them once, twice, three times, and then chuck, chuck it out. Just crazy to imagine that people back then used to wear the keys until it's just distressed. Well, um, I wear the exact same thing every single day, so something like this is something I really appreciate. I also wear this inside out, so I'll show you guys how it's worn both inside and inside out and right side out. Next up is this 1994 Pink Floyd Division Bell tee, which has been cut up in the sleeves and the bottom has been cropped. If you guys are familiar with the channel, you guys know that that's literally my favorite type of tees to wear, like cut off tees. Um, we're making one for object, the perfect one based off of 10 of my favorite tanks. And I've just Frankenstein into this one really good measurement, perfect material, details whatsoever. Stay tuned for that. But this one 
is very nice. It has the Brooklyn tag, super nice faded. Um, this is an XL, so it's a bit too large on me, um, but it still fits pretty nice. And then lastly, for the tops, is this vintage 90s Crowbar's tank. For some reason, this tank is actually super warm. Um, I think it might be the material, which is thermal or something, but this is an older Crowbar's tag. I bought these like around two years, two to three years ago. I bought the second hand. Um, the thing about like the thing that I like about this is it's not too too long, so you can just tuck it in. It's not too long, but then it's the perfect length to which you can tuck it in um, in your in your pants. So it does fit super nice. I love the back graphic. It says Crowbar's here. The circular sort of pattern and the really big cross chrome hearts here as well. This is such a nice piece to wear on the jackets. The thing about it is, since it keeps you warm, so you can still wear it for even like fall and winter under like some tees and jackets and whatnot. So it's super essential. Moving on to the next category, I have two bottoms to show you guys. Um, so, firstly, is Dickies Loose Fit Shorts. I've had this for around a year. I actually found this in a thrift um, when we were tripping together with my girlfriend. I bought these for around like seven or like eight bucks. It was super broken in, which I really prefer for Dickies. And um, these are literally the only shorts I wear. These and the Jacob shorts. Um, yeah, these are perfect. You can wear with, I mostly wear with some socks and some derbies. Show off the tat a bit for the summer vibes. I try my best to wear jeans and trousers. Um, pant shorts are like my, li my last option if it's really hot outside but these are worth the um, the investment I feel I've been wearing them for like around a year year and a half and these have been on heavy rotation whenever I do need some shorts so for the next pair of bottoms I got this acne series double E's which I got around Christmas time I got it for Christmas sale literally paid really good deal for it because i think they were on clearance as far as i know these are actually women's and they fit ginormous this is size small and i reckon it could fit like 34. but yeah these are perfect very heavy duty um i've worn these quite a bit the first time i got them but i haven't really worn it since because it's been um very hot it hasn't been really really cold so yeah probably gonna wear it a lot more in winter with some um, probably with some jackets and whatever with some coats. These have a really nice like straight cut um, So it really does flare out in your boots nicely because it has a longer inseam and it's super heavy So it does really accommodate for like different types of boots and whatever it really does flow well in the boot Moving on to the final category Is the footwear which in this case I have two pairs of boots. The first one is the Somar Grand Boots which was graciously gifted by my good friend, Owen Hyatt. Owen, if you're watching, shout out to you, man. You're doing fucking amazing things. Hopefully you get to link up one day. Trying to go to LA, New York next year. But yeah, the ground boots are amazing. I went to a five day trip in, um, to Melbourne a couple days ago. And these are the only boots I wore and they're super comfortable. You can wear them around the city. They do take a bit of a breaking in, like a couple days for sure. But then once you break them in, they're very comfortable to wear out because I think the um, the insole is recycled cork, which makes it very sustainable to wear like for a long period of time. The boots are amazing, gives me a ton of height, which I obviously prefer. I'm standing at five foot eight. If I could go to like five nine, five ten within using some boots, I'd definitely take that. This gives me like a five centimeter like height. It's great. Um, it's starting to sort of show some wear here, which I love. I love the trifold tongue, which um, really allows you to wear it unlaced over some jeans and everything, because um, this really does keep your foot inside. You guys have seen this everywhere. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me rocking these nonstop. I'm very excited to see the leather um, really break in more and really mold to my feet. I recommend you guys copying these if you have the chance or even you restock them. Finally, I made a whole separate video of this showing off this boot, but this is the Guidi 795V. These are holding up super well. These are really heavy for some reason. Um, they're definitely a really high quality boot. If you guys are looking for the purchase, definitely buy them second hand. I don't think retail is worth it at all. I damn near never pay retail for any of my garments. 
So just wait it out. You can definitely find some really good deals and steals. I've had a lot of boots in the past. I've had the Navigates, I've had some Docks. These are definitely like a like a whole level above all those boots. The Navigates are nice and they're obviously like archival and people like them, but they're really flat and they don't really give me any height, which I'm which personally I look for in a boot. Uh, this gives me that like strong feeling if you get what I mean like it feel like as if you're very strong and powerful Which I love and enjoy. So yeah That's the boot That wraps it up for the video. Thank you so much guys for watching I appreciate each and every one of you guys as per usual Work is picking up a bit. So I'm re really busy and it's been super hard for me to keep my schedule but I'm gonna really try my best to be more consistent. I'm gonna post more shorts, more YouTube videos. I actually really wanna do an outfit styling video with all these pickups. So if you are interested in that, please shower the comments um, and then also give me feedback as to what you wanna see, what you feel about the video, if there is anything you want me to improve or just basically anything. Genuinely, my favorite part about uploading a video, aside from um, editing it and just making it look all nice, is literally reading your guys' comments. Literally keeps me going. If I see a comment on my Instagram, YouTube, if you guys DM me personally, that really makes me happy. That's literally um, my favorite thing to like do because if you guys don't know, one of my reasons that I started doing social media and posting on social media is because I didn't really have a lot of friends to talk about fashion with. And I've been able to meet so much of those people just creating content, just making content like this. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys. Follow me on my Instagram, Smoldry. I post fit pics at least once a week. I'm gonna post more videos and reels as well. Um, so yeah, show some love, always comment. I'm always replying to all your fucking comments because I love you guys and I appreciate your time and effort that you put into the comments. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video and peace.